Minnesota, Detroit, man, that was like a playoff game. I mean, the intensity, the fans were going crazy up in Minnesota and up and down the field they went. And when they got to the finish line, Jared Goff did it again. I mean, this is a guy that couldn't manage games with the Rams who went to Detroit as a throw in in the Matthew Stafford trade. Jared Goff on Sunday, 22 of 25, throwing the football for 280. And St. Brown, the wide receiver, had 112 yards in receptions. The young running back, Shamir Gibbs, had 116 rushing. And Detroit held off Minnesota. Detroit knocked Minnesota out of the ranks from the unbeaten. Man, that was that was like a playoff game. Second game, Green Bay-Houston. Jordan Love. He might not be a superstar, but he's damn close to being a superstar. Bad knee and all. 220 yards passing, three touchdowns, couple of picks. Green Bay outgunned Houston. The big storyline, nobody's paying any attention to Green Bay's defense. They've reworked that defense. They've changed everything. Four quarterback sacks of C.J. Stroud. They held C.J. Stroud to 89 yards passing. They chased him all over the place. Wow. Green Bay really, really did a job beating Houston. Kansas City, San Francisco. How bizarre is this? Kansas City is unbeaten. Mahomes throws two more interceptions. Patrick Mahomes has eight picks, no deep passing game, partial running game, and Travis Kelsey. And they're still winning. What a job by uh, Andy Reid. San Francisco, I mean, they are really hurting. Uh, Brock Purdy, three picks. He's being asked to carry the entire load. There is no Christian McCaffrey. They're not running the ball. And now the worst of all times, they lose Brandon Ayuk, torn knee ligament. Ooh. And they paid him all that money after all that holdout. And the guy is averaging three receptions a game, has not caught a touchdown pass this season. How'd that holdout work for the team? Oh, God. Holy cow. So Kansas City beats San Francisco. 49ers, they, they kind of look like they're in a free fall. And I don't know that Shanahan can get him out if he doesn't have players. And there's no Christian McCaffrey sighting coming. New York Jets, Pittsburgh. Wow. Aaron Rodgers and the boys are now two and five. <laughs> Think about that. Uh, Pittsburgh, Russell Wilson, ragged start. Didn't play well early. And then it was like somebody threw a light switch on. And that was vintage Russell Wilson moving the pocket, making plays, creating on the run. You know, he winds up throwing for 264. They came from a 15 to 6 deficit. Pittsburgh scored 31 points in a row against the Jets. And Aaron Rodgers, they're going to need time. And time is not against him because they got five losses. I still look at that depth chart and I say, man, there's a lot of firepower there. And now they got the linebacker who finally came back in after the really ugly holdout. Uh, you know, so I I think if they can win a couple games here and just stabilize themselves, I still think the Jets have the firepower to climb back into the playoff race. And then you got the Rams and the Raiders. The Rams had to win, and they did win. Real gritty defensive performance by the Rams. The Raiders' world is, has fallen in on them. Gardner Minshew, four turnovers yesterday. Three picks and another fumble. Took a couple more sacks. Took 10 hits. I mean, Rams defense, their kids were blitzing and they were getting there. And the Raiders are just in a state of utter collapse. You know, the common joke around the NFL as well. Tom Brady's joined the Raiders as a minority holder. Going to be a consultant to Mark Davis. Tom, did you bring your helmet and your shoulder pads? Can you play? <laughs> <laughs> really? So Ra the Raiders season is over. I think, you know, with the trade of Devontae Adams, and they had no run game. Offensive line is chewed up. They got Max Crosby and everybody else across the defensive front is hurt and had surgery. Raiders tank. Raiders look out to the horizon. Shadur Sanders, number mm -hmm. one pick, Colorado. Mm -hmm. So there, there's nothing that's going to solve the Raiders' problems because the Raiders just are not competitive, don't have the roster. And I don't I don't even know that the leadership is is correct. So those are all things NFL, things that I watched on the weekend. And what did you see? How about that NFC Norris division? Yeah. I mean, every one of those teams is over 500. It's incredible. Black that, and blue big boys. It really was impressive. And, and you know, the, the Vikings-Lions game, the Vikings got out to a quick start, and then the whole thing flipped. 
you know? So, I mean, I, I love Dan Campbell. I mean, I love everything about that guy and, and I'm happy for Jared Goff. I was bumming for Kevin uh, O'Connell, but that was an exciting game. The Green Bay game, the weird thing to me was, did, what did you think of those uniforms? They were like all white. I, well, I, I knew they were going to this white specialty. It did not dawn on me white helmets. That was the strangest part of the yeah. whole entourage of what they wore. But it worked. It worked. Might as well keep wearing it. Well, I, when I first saw it, I thought it was the Chargers. You know, and yeah. I realized, okay, it's not the Chargers. Well, it's green and gold. Yeah, exactly. It was just weird, you know, because you just think of, you know, either seeing heavy green or heavy gold. Um, I, the, the Niners, man, they're just, in, it's, it's, it's difficult right now. And Kansas City, they just know how to win. So, you know, the Niners, that's going to be their nemesis. They got beaten by Kansas City in the Super Bowl twice. The Jets are fun to watch because Aaron Rodgers is always rolling his eyes. And making plays. And making plays, yeah. But, you know, you're right. They have a ton of firepower, two and five. I, I don't see how they can make the playoffs unless they just run the table here, and it's not looking good for them. They had shots of him on the bench after, you know, the secondary makes a mistake or receiver drops a pass, and he's doing this all the time. Ah, it's it's just so demoralizing. It's not That's not being a team player. I mean, that's just being exactly. a prima donna. And, and that was what makes it so dramatic to watch the whole thing. You know, Rams beat the Raiders. The Raiders are just, they're just a disgrace right now. You know, the Rams pulled that one out. So, you know, it was a fun day in the NFL. You even talked about it. A lot of must-see TV games. Oh, they were just great. Now, we got two really. 